Hello there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey. And today I'm going to go through the third and final video of our three part uh, drill draw tutorial series. If you haven't already watched the first two videos, make sure that you go to the blog weisstechhockey.com slash blog and take a look at the first two videos. They're both entitled uh, The Magic of Drill Draw Part 1 and The Magic of Drill Draw Part 2. So take a look at those. Once you've gotten caught back up, then uh, re join us again for this video and you'll be able to pick up uh, right where you left off. This is, I'm actually really excited to be showing you uh, this video today because it's, uh, in my opinion, probably some of the coolest functionality of the Drill Draw software. Um, this is going to allow you to not only increase your own hockey knowledge, but to be able to uh, help you pool your own information with others so that you know you're growing as well as helping other people's to uh, other people to increase their hockey knowledge as well so go ahead open up a web browser um, type in weisstechhockey.com slash blog that will take you to the website and when you get here you'll notice the uh, this graphic here that says get the same drill drawing software I use in all my videos go ahead click that and that will take you to the drill drop purchase page. Now, when you get to the purchase page, you'll notice there are a number of different options, different price ranges, uh, etc. So you can go through. Um, we've got all the explanation on there. Uh, you know, pick which one makes the most sense for you. And once you've gone through the whole, uh, you know, PayPal process, then you'll be taken to uh, a confirmation page. And the confirmation page looks like this. You'll notice we'll have a, a download here link. And what that will do is that'll allow you to go ahead, download the program, get started with it, and um, you know, 24 to 48 hours later, you'll get your actual uh, licensing code in the mail or the email, your email. So that'll allow you to just you know plug that in from that point. So once you've got your drill draw all uh, downloaded, installed, all that good stuff, then uh, open it up. And we've already gone through drill editing mode as well as practice planning mode. So this is where we're going to uh, show you the importing and exporting features of Drill Draw. Um, this is, in my opinion, probably the coolest uh, functionality of Drill Draw itself. So um, you'll notice we've got our, our drill editing practice uh, planning mode here. Uh, and then we've got these two buttons here, import and export. So um, let's start by exporting a drill or two. And then uh, that'll show you how to export it. And then from there, then we'll go ahead and import those back in. So let's click on the export button. You'll notice we've got two options here. Um, <clears throat> select drills to export in drill draw format or select practice plans to export in drill draw format. So what this will do, um, let's, you know, this will allow you to either export individual drills or export an entire practice plan. Um, so let's do drills for now. And this will pull up your um, drill exporting window. Now you'll notice we've got select drill bank right here. So I've got my playbook and I've got my Weiss Tech drills. So let's go to the drills. And from here all we do is just pick and choose. Um, you'll notice we've got it sorted in categories here. So let's say that uh, you know I'm, I'm looking to export all of my timing drills. So what you'll do is you'll click on the categories and then you'll, you can just scroll down and you can see right here I've got three timing drills, passing and timing drills. So I'll hit the drill, add to list, okay, and I'll scroll back down, do it again, add to list. Now I can do as many drills as I want here. Uh, you know, you can either do one or you can do two or three. I'll do three for this one. Um, you'll notice we've got actually three options here too. We've got add to list, that's if you want to add an individual drill. <coughs> you can actually export your whole drill bank if you'd like. Uh, that would be by clicking add all drills. Or if you accidentally added a drill you didn't want, then all you would do is uh, select that drill and then hit remove from list. That'll just move it. If you, uh, let's say you get in a situation where you can't remember what drill it is. Um, so maybe I was thinking about doing this agility shooting drill, high low shooting. I couldn't remember it. Then you can just hit the, uh, the preview button and that'll pull up a little preview of what the drill looks like. Okay. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Once you've gotten the drills that you, uh, you know, that you want to export, all you do is hit the export button. Okay. We'll wait for a second here. And then it'll give you options of where you'd like to save it. Um, let's just, for this uh, purposes here, just save it to the desktop. And we will call it uh, timing test. Okay. 
and you'll notice this is going to save it as a drill draw file. Okay, so what that means is you're going to export it as a drill draw file. Anybody else who has drill draw will be able to, you know, if you send them that file, they'll be able to import this list into their drill draw and save it into their own drill bank. So that's why I'm saying this is going to, you know, drastically expand your hockey knowledge because now you can share drills with people, other people who have drill draw all over the world. So we'll hit save and that's it. Now, whatever you decide to do with this, you can burn it onto a CD, you can email it to whoever you want, um, whatever you want to do, uh, you know, anybody else who comes across those, uh, you know, your, your file that you just saved, um, they'll be able to import it into their drill draw. So let's say that we've done that, let's say somebody else sent us uh, a batch of drills, now we want to import them. So we'll, in case you can't guess, <laughs> we'll go hit the import button, and that will pull up our window. And we remember we just saved that to the desktop. So let's see if we can find it here. Oh, here we go. Perfect. It was already selected. <coughs> We've got our timing test. You can see right there the .dde, that's the drill draw file. Uh, it shows us that we've got three drills in that uh, batch. And all we do is hit import. Uh, and then you've got a few different import options. Um, display every drill imported or just save them automatically in a selected drill bank. So we can, if we want to do this, then we just select whichever drill, drink, drill bank we want to do and um, that'll import them automatically into our files. Um, so for this one, let's just go display every drill imported and then it'll allow us to save the drills manually afterwards. So we'll hit import and all this will do is pull up each of those drills. Okay, so that's the first drill. If we want to see the next drill, we just go click next, show next. <coughs> so this is drill two of three. Show next. And there we have it. Okay, now you may remember in our first two videos, I talked a little bit about our um, special offer that's only available through Weiss Tech Hockey and that's our monthly expander pack uh, free trial. Now I couldn't get into too much detail about the expander pack before because I hadn't shown you the importing and exporting features of drill draw. But now that you understand the power and the magnitude of that feature, um, I'm sure you'll be able to see how this could really be a benefit for you um, as a hockey coach. So what the expander pack does is um, after you've registered your drill draw, then you come back and you hit subscribe down here um, either on the confirmation page, we've also still got it on our um, initial purchase page right here. Uh, but what this expander pack will do for you is every single month it will automatically send you five new drills. Now these five drills will be in a drill draw file format. So what this means is you'll be able to take these drills, import them automatically into your drill bank, and then, and then from there uh, you'll be able to customize them. So it might be one of these situations where, uh, you know, maybe you want to add something to the drill, maybe you want to take something away from the drill, uh, maybe you want to add your own notes to the drill. You'll be able to do whatever you want to do. These will be your drills for your own editing. Um, that will help you. Uh, it's, it's basically a pain-free way of continuing to expand that uh, hockey drill repertoire. Um, and really all you have to do <laughs> is, is click a button.